Hey guys, welcome to season one, episode twenty of Bones. Here we go. Um, Agent Booth. Yes, Angela. This is the pediatric care center. He's the deputy director of the FBI, and this is where he wants us to show it. Okay, listen. About a month ago, his daughter Amy was diagnosed with cancer. Yeah, so... Esothelioma, lung cancer. Exactly. Damn. Odd for someone Amy's age. No, 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 no probing, okay? Not to Colin, not to his family. This will take five minutes. We go in there, we do the show until we're into the case, and then we're out of there. Is that clear? I just think it's peculiar, no. but I no. <laughs> you have to admit. Dr. Brennan, an appropriate YouTube bickering in an adolescent wing. Uh, sir, yes. Um, is it okay if we come in, sir? Sure. What do you think, sweetheart? That's cool, most of the time. <laughs> hey, you're a lady, you're cool. Extreme humidity combined with insects and oh. precipitation accelerated the rate of decline. The effects were totally environmental. Murder doesn't fit the suspect's profile, sir. Hmm. It's not nice to fool Mother Nature. Can I see your drawings? Wow, these are beautiful. Our artist in the making, Rousseau. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of Rousseau in Paris. Have you ever been to the Louvre? No, not yet. But it's on my list. Right after fall in love and learn to drive. <laughs> Aww. You've got a great eye. Bonding over. Whoa. He's amazing. Since asbestos exposure is the primary way people contract mesothelioma, how do you think? <clears throat> Has there been a history of illness? <clears throat> Hardly. <laughs> Apart from breaking her leg snowboarding a year ago, I can't remember the last time she was sick. How about it was a break? Compound fracture lift to me. I was boarding with some friends and I, I hit a tree. We Could did. I see Amy's grass? Sir, I have not. Of course. <laughs> if you think they'll tell us anything. Hey, she, she could find something. Whoa. The lighter color is evidence of demineralization. I'm not the bone expert here, but yuck. This bone is significantly less dense than a person in their 20s. That's for sure. How old do you think the donor really was? Judging from the reduction in bone mass, at least 60. What? What? There are indications the bone graft you implanted in Amy Cullen gave her cancer. Well, it's impossible. Every graft we get has been tested and irradiated. And who's going to perform that biopsy? Doctor. You. Uh. That's messed up. He's gonna give her a gun after this. Sure, you can have a gun. <laughs> I have one gentleman offer me his cattle ranch in Montana. Now people they get desperate. Did hmm. you take him up on it? That would be dishonest, Agent Booth. If anything, this office is built on the goodness of people. Colin, any A? So is this the case that we're taking? From a 25-year-old. When I said I couldn't tell you, it's because we have no way to know. Wait, so. You'd have to ask the tissue. You got it from a 25-year-old, but could the 25-year-old have gotten it from somebody else? We've been using them for a long time, never had a problem. He's... he's likes her. The donor bone came from someone in their 60s. No, but how do we what know the, the bone that gave me any cancer? Whoever this is had terminal cancer. And that's what it Amy. She went in for fucked. a broken leg. Oh my god, I would lose my shit if I was that dead. That's messed up. So, okay, my thought process, can't you just take it out now and replace it with something else? Hospital error. The next step would be to find out where the graph came from. You know how many people die from hospital mistakes every single year? FBI jurisdiction. My team can... We'll notify CDC right away. If we found out a way to make this a legitimate FBI yeah. case. If one graft is infected, there's no telling you how many others are out there. Ooh, that would be an FBI case. Serial killer case. Nothing becomes FBI business if one of those hey, damn grafts is sold across state line. Well, you can spit into four states from where we are right now. What? Well, literally. That little girl does not deserve to die. That's screwed up. So we just unbelievable. It's... 
the most beautiful place you'll ever see. Maybe you can tell me about it sometime. You'll go there yourself. <sighs> I know you will. See, now, the only thing I'm wondering is, are they gonna go realistic here? Or is she gonna get, like, some miraculous recovery? FBI. Oh. Okay, so this is biotech. Sorry, I couldn't be anymore. That's not Thanks. a good look. I appreciate it. All right, building manager says biotech went only up two years ago. They couldn't even have paid the last month's rent. What did they get? They don't know. But Amy Collins' graph was sold to Washington General 12 months ago. If That's... biotech doesn't exist, who sold the diseased bone to the hospital? But you know what I think? I think Ogden is in on the whole thing. A little biomedical payola. Mm -hmm. Buys their great parts in exchange for a condo in St. Croix. Dr. Ogden's a very good man. I know there are problems in his past, but that's... Oh, you mean there are skeletons in his closet? Only the tissue lab knows for sure. But after you left, I was curious, and... God, what a please. shitty hospital. It's already too late for Amy, but it may not be for someone else. What are you doing? You will come here with me? Come here. It was a car accident. This booth. I need a phone and address for Kelly DeMarco on the Potomac area. Two graphs. Same day as Amy. Both graphs came from biotech. When? You sure? What is it? Thanks. Oh, Kelly yeah. Marco? She's dead. What? No, guys, this is Marco. like a freaking... Yeah, uh, had the accident, she had all the operations. You know, she never... You know, this could be like that. borderline terrorism, right? Cancer eight months ago. Are your numbers up, I guess, right? Selling diseased bones and, and stuff like to hospitals to give it out to other people. But then the disease was unstoppable. It was bioterrorism. Same bones, same donor. Okay, you're saying that hundreds of people could still be out there with yeah. cancer time bombs in them and not even realize it? Yeah. We need to call every hospital in the D.C. area. If you're right, then the Bureau can officially designate this a serial killer. Ogden was... Fired from a private hospital in Denver. Reason? Accepting a bribe from someone up in the donor list. He definitely seems like someone who would accept a bribe. Little shit. Look, what I did in Denver was wrong, and I did it for good reason. To line your pockets. I came from a family that could afford it. So taking advantage of wealthy people is okay? I'm not saying I'm proud of what I did, Dr. Brennan. You can take advantage of wealthy people because they already have money. Yes. Stupid. Why about your relationship with biotech? If I find one deposit that's suspicious, you know what? You're mine. I swear to you, I'm not involved in this. Your work is awesome. You're swearing to me? Doesn't really do much. There's so much going on. You know, so much to like, feel. I don't know if I don't give a shit. Like <laughs> you will. I care that this little girl, <laughs> who has such a bright future, well, I mean, I have so many problem. goals and plans, is dying because of you, you stupid idiots. Here. I really think it's best for you to stay positive. Keep doing things you mean. With your art? Yeah, absolutely. What about guys? Wow, well, well, <laughs> that totally goes without saying. What's his name? Aaron. His family just moved here. Aaron? He asked me, but I don't know. I said no. Why? You might meet somebody who's worth it. What if he's not? Then you've got something else to pay the There's another one. This one died of lung cancer three months ago, checking on a burial site. That makes 13, including Amy and the DeMarco woman. Probably all from the same donor. Dude. Man. That's... One dead guy do so much damage. This fraud just crossed state lines and became a legitimate case for the FBI. Looks like I don't have to use my sick days anymore, huh? <laughs> I should kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. Catch the son of a bitch that did this to my daughter. That's absolutely my intention, sir. All these freaking people. Oh. Is that your balls? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. This shit pisses me off. I'm sorry. Amy. Did all these people get bones from the same donor I did? Uh-huh. Do they all have cancer? No, not all of them. Oh. But the sooner the ones who are infected know, the better. Who would do a thing like that? Terrible. If they, they were sick, why make other people sick too? 
I don't know. It's terrible. But that's what we're trying to figure out. God. I want this out of me. Mm. Sweetheart, you're not strong Get enough. Get them to take it out. Amy, you have to understand all of these people. I don't care. You're saving their lives. God. Look at the slope of the sciatic notch in the pelvis and the non-elevated auricular surface. We have a freaking... Construction worker? It's hard to say, exactly. Definitely an X-ray of... What is that, 95% of this man? 97% of this man's body? about his appearance, size, weight... And... We don't know the name. Do we have enough to track him down? Hodgins? Maybe. With lips. Whose lips? Laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy. Well, we'll find him. How do we know he's alive? Couldn't he be dead? And they, they're using this? Like using his potty? Extremely low levels of fluoride in the cancellous bone. Why? Since most tap water is fluoridated. So we're looking for someone from Tennessee, West Virginia, or North Carolina. Oh, great. That, that narrows it down. High level of C8. In Parkersburg, West Virginia. And West Virginia. And traces of nucleus subparticles. Employees there were growing a second head. And you say cover up? Okay, where's Brent's cliff? West Virginia also. Okay, fine. So then we're trying to ID a guy who's 65 years of age. Uh, roughly 200 pounds, lives in West Virginia, died of lung cancer within the last year. Oh, he's dead. Okay. I thought he was dead. I was like, I thought they said, oh yeah, he's alive. I was like, what do you mean? That, that confused me. I was like, I thought he was dead. Hey, lady, watch where you're driving. <laughs> Spook. Blair Simmons isn't dead, but he's frozen in a cryogenics lab. What do you mean frozen? I think he's wedged between Walt Disney and Ted Williams. <laughs> Ted Williams. Clear's casket hasn't been opened since his marriage. So if Blake isn't our donor. So if Simmons isn't our donor. This oh, is Hastings. shit. What's your husband do for a living? Opened a roofing business a few years back. Roofing? Shingling and fireproofing and such. So he handled asbestos. Doctors say that's what finally got him. Did anyone approach you about selling his parts after he died? Pardon? I'm afraid I don't follow. Where are the ashes? Out back in the yard. Do you mind if we take a sample? I sure sell do. <laughs> and bring those trigger happy agents of yours too, because this conversation is over. Come on, boss, let's go. Have a nice day. Trigger happy? Was there an insurance policy in place? No, more reasons to sell you legal grass. We need to speak to you and Amy's mother privately. Uh oh. Oh, man. I hate seeing them so sad. That's messed up. Well, this will only take a minute, uh, Mr. Jessup. He ain't going nowhere. And what's this about exactly? William Hastings. I've been in business almost a decade and I have no recollection whatsoever of Mr. Hastings. Oh. His wife mentioned this place. My records are impeccable. There's nothing to double check. Wow. That was quick. I need to get those ashes from her yard. You got them, right? I'll get the warrant. And don't forget the dogs and the gun hunting agents. Oh, <laughs> trust me, I won't forget that. You can get $10,000 for grass on the black market. Oh my <laughs> god. I mean, my bones are worth more than that. Three glasses of milk a day. I work out and I eat right. X ray microfluorescence shows a high Three concentration glasses of milk? Oh, oh my shit. Revelation. I Seriously, Hopkins, is there anything that, that we can link to William Hastings' medical records? Everything tracks. There are no unusual bank records, no deposits. What if they took the grass, gave her back the ashes, and she was an annoyer? Man, is she gonna be pissed? All right, so if it's not the Widow Hastings, I'm doubling down on the mortician. Everybody in? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'll take that. That was sale. Looks like a sit department store. All right, you know, I know Do you want to be buried in this or in this? Wait, but the floor slopes toward the center of the room. 
This wasn't always used for a showroom. Uh. Oh, no, it's under the carpet. Kidding me, it's a drain? This is our sales office. There is nothing in here you need to see. The only thing in this room is caskets. I'm not so sure about that. You know what? It's You're him. making a mistake. Am I? She's ruining my merchandise. Come on, how much is that one? Seven thousand dollars. Songs, what the stuff marks. Bone dust. You forgot about airborne particles. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Hey, don't harass my assistant. That's right. That's our job. I sift the <laughs> dust particles through a series of filters. So, is it him? It looked the same. It's him. Yeah, I was. But here's the kicks. Oh, kicker bones. Here's the kicker. Huh. There's bone dust from at least seven other bodies in that vent filter as well. Seven. Martin is a mortician, not a doctor. Let's say he's running a chop shop. Let's say he was selling illegal parts to tissue labs. Who was actually doing the cutting? And who was selling to hospitals as biotech? Yeah. So he's an accomplice. Accomplice. How much money have you made over the years doing this? I don't recall this. You know what? The dust that we got on the vent in your showroom matched Hastings and seven other bodies. I think you do. I think you and your partners uh -oh. know that the bones were cancerous and you did it. Who was it, huh? Who the hell did this to my dog? Huh? Sorry, sir. Yeah, sir. Please. Bones, how long is it going to take you? Bones! You're not supposed to see through that, are you? I don't think you can... How did he know she wasn't there? She's not supposed... You're not supposed to be able to see through that, right? Oh, Dr. Brennan, you startled me. Mind if I come in? Not at all. You think it's her? Tell me, what, what do you use these phones for? Recipients, primarily. We never know when a donor organ is going to come in. Ever use one yourself? What can I do for you, doctor? Have you always wanted to work in a hospital? No way. I mean... It's incredibly rewarding, I know, but I do not expect to that. study medicine. How often does Dr. Ogden write prescriptions? Rarely. As coordinator, he doesn't practice. Yet the pharmacy downstairs told the FBI that he wrote you a script for an expectorant for a cough. Well, there must be some mistake. He never you wrote that prescription yourself, didn't you? See, if you'd finished medical school, you'd know. Bone dust is very dangerous if inhaled. Mm -hmm. When you're taking those grafts, I doubt you're wearing a mask. You're sick. Combs and I, I don't just mean in a mentally disturbed way. Yeah. I'd like to read your rights. What's going on? Oh! Transplant is in fancy yourself. Like Got him. That. Not a doctor exactly. Got him. Qualified enough to extricate bone grafts. Got him. And what about biotech tissue labs? Once it was a legitimate company. Combs kept it alive on the web and. Angela. That's okay, yeah. I got it. Anybody got the cure for cancer? No? Hey. Still? Hey. You alright? After all this time, Chloe, yeah. all these people working on the cure for cancer, nobody has it? Nothing? No, I'm not. So, why can't we help a 15 year old girl? All she wants to do is. Fall in love and visit the loop. You can do that. What do you have to say about love? It's overrated. <laughs> Most of the time.
going to do it. <laughs> but, like, I want to rant. Because it's just so, it, it's so irritating and the patience is so low. Like, and I'm not going to go into this full on. But I will say this. I don't understand. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not anything. I, but, you know, that's that's beside the point. I don't understand how millions and millions of dollars and thousands, maybe even over a hundred thousand doctors, scientists, since for decades have have been working on cancer. And they have nothing. Nothing. Can't figure anything out. Nothing. But we're literally at the point where cars can drive themselves and androids are almost a real thing. Robots are almost a real thing and we can't figure out a disease. That's it. That's it. It's just that's just a how just how how have we made no progress? <laughs> how, how, how do we not have something? Whatever. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I'll see y'all next time.